It's not every day you see a woman getting her hands dirty on a bike. Unless you follow biker stuff over on her YouTube channel, there are a lot of things about her that make her an amazing woman, but then even the moon has its flaws. In a recent video, Dana talks about her channel getting demonetized because of the content she makes. YouTube is easily accessible to anyone at the expense of a couple of clicks, and this makes it vulnerable. YouTube works tirelessly to see what they're promoting, and while most go under the radar, biker stuff does not. It's a very popular channel, especially among bike enthusiasts, if we look past the 18 plus content and see the value she provides with her informative videos. She has one of the best channels about bikes. She's been working towards removing any sort of content that goes against YouTube, but it seems like she's on the hit list. In a recent Q&A session, she spoke to her fans about how YouTube demonetized her channel and did not even offer a proper explanation. She also talked about how most of her viewers were of legal age. She also showed us a chart where it showed 0.2% were minors, but that's still a minor. She's trying to portray it as YouTube trying to ban her videos because of her gender and her line of work, but viewers can clearly see what her content contains. She does have certain videos that are not appropriate for public viewing, which also contain random slang and inappropriate words which might have caused some parents to report their channel. She's been accused of using YouTube as a funnel to bring more people to buy her subscriptions of Patreon and OnlyFans. Which is okay, but if someone calls you out for it, you have to admit it. Apart from that, she's a wonderful woman. Her Biker Stuff 101 is on point. The channel deals with everything related to bikes, and she has some of the most impressive ways to teach. If you're looking for something or someone who could tell you a thing or two about the inner mechanism and all the things that go into the construction of bikes, then you should definitely follow her on YouTube. The amount of information each video has is baffling, and you'd be amazed at how creative she can get with her videos. It's such a shame for good content to get discarded like that. Despite her content being informative and very helpful for the younger generation, who are also most likely fascinated by bikes, YouTube does not like how she presents herself in the videos, as they're a bit explicit. If you don't know her, Dana J. Garris is a 50-year-old YouTube content creator and a self-proclaimed motorcycle mechanic and a model. She makes videos about bike travel journeys for YouTube and she can be seen working with motorcycles whenever she has time to spare. Her channel started as a small project, she only got serious about it after it got monetized. That was when she began investing money and grew that project into a successful online career. She's managed to save enough for more bikes, she's a proud owner of three Honda CBR models. She began riding bikes when she was just 16 years old. She used to take her Honda Cub C50 to commute to school. She later switched the bike with a Honda Cub C90, and she's always been a loyal customer of Honda, but after the C90, she switched to the Yamaha B-Wiz 50. After many years, she moved on to April's SR50. The first ever bike she bought was a Honda CBR125, but it wasn't fast enough for Dana, so she got herself a new Honda CBR 400RR. Growing up with bikes made her fall in love with all the inner workings of the machinery, and when asked about her mechanical study training and experience, that she had to be able to produce these informative mechanical videos. Surprisingly, she said that she mostly was self-taught and gained her skills, the repairs and modifications, all by herself, and said that she learned it all through trial and error. From this, we know that she sincerely has a thing for bikes, and even though her videos are visually suggestive, and sometimes there are slurs, her passion reflects through them. Her job as an adult star might have added a little 18 plus to her content, but if you look beyond, that's some pretty deep knowledge. But then again, if you're on a platform, you have to play by the rules. People have accused her of trying to lure them into purchasing premium paid subscriptions onto both these social platforms. Well, I guess it's easy to resist that temptation unless you're into older women, then you shouldn't complain. Thank you so much for watching, have a good day, and don't forget to subscribe.